Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So this is post-commentary shenanigans abound. First off, to talk about the gameplay. Uh, I went 21-7 and seven with an interesting um, an interesting time there with the riot shield that you'll see here uh, momentarily because I had to switch to my anti-air early on. And with my primary, it happens to be a riot shield. In any case, not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about today is kind of a question that Ibex, you know, kind of brought to attention um, maybe a couple weeks ago. I don't exactly remember when he posted the video, but why do we play these games? And what I mean by that is any sort of game that has an online multiplayer component. So, of course, most notably the COD series and the Battlefield series. You know, let's use those as examples. Um, I don't understand why we play these games when for a lot of us... We'll have, well, let's say we, we play six games in one sitting, that maybe five of those games are horrible. But then there's that one really good game that makes you want to play more, you know? Like, there have been times for me, and I think I've recorded these times, that I've, <laughs> I've played Modern Warfare 3, did horrible, you know, like, didn't get a kill, or maybe went, like, 3 and 10 and get so mad, just completely rage out, throw down my headset, throw down my controller, and not that bit, you know, where I'm trying to be sarcastic, but I'm talking about legitimately being upset and, you know, just kind of leaving everything. So I think the thing is, you know, why do we play these games if this is how, and for some of us, this is how it is most of the time. I mean, even some of my friends are like this almost all the time now, and it's... Why do we? Why? Why are we trying to torture ourselves playing a game that's allegedly supposed to be for fun? Like, right now, I'm not playing this for money. This isn't MLG for me. This isn't, you know, something that's. Oh, you know, I'm gonna make a living doing this. Hurt the dirt, the dirt. No. All this is is I'm kind of bored right now. What do I want to do? Oh, I'll just go online and shoot fake people, or in this case, hit them with riot shields. But in any case, it's you know, why? Why stress ourselves over it? In addition to that, and this is something that I think maybe caused that stress, and maybe this is more maybe a life lesson more so, but I'm gonna focus this I'm gonna focus this only on uh, video gaming for right now. Why do we care about stuff that's outside of our control? You know, why do we care about uh, teammates not capping flags or not planting the bomb? You know, why do we care about that? Or why do we care about we turn a corner and there's a guy we didn't see? Because either he was camping in the corner, as we usually claim, or both of you just happened to run around the corner and he's the one who saw you first. You know, a lot of the times we complain about things that aren't in our control, and we really shouldn't, because it's not in our control. Now, I'm not telling you how to live your life or, you know, to change your outlook on life, but it's just something to keep in mind, in that, you know... It really would be better if you try to ignore, or, you know, of course, easier said than done, try to ignore every time you died. Don't worry about getting that revenge kill. Just, okay, you died, you know, alright, so watch the kill cam, you know what happened, and then go ahead and reset yourself, and just try to do that, because I think that will probably be a better gaming experience than really focusing on being that tryhard it's oh i really want to get that 5 kd you know i want to go 40 and 5 i want to get two moabs or uh you know 98 stealth bombers or whatever the fuck you consider a good thing and just essentially just to kind of let it go now i know actually i think some of my friends have actually suggested this to me in the past not just in gaming but i think in regular life situations and, of course, you know, I'm stubborn. I don't listen to them until all of a sudden I realize later on myself and then be like, oh, man, I'm such an idiot. But that's not the point. It's one of those things that maybe we should just, you know, just just let it go, kind of. You know, just keep, just play the games for fun. You know what they are. Your win-loss record, your KD, you know, how many flags, how many points you get. As much as we care about those statistics, myself included, as I do care about those, you know, statistics, those are useless. I think I've explained this to somebody before who is getting really, really upset at, at Call of Duty. At least I think I remember this. I don't know. I could be making it up, too. But having a high KD or being the top-ranked player in the world in COD, 
will not get you a job. Unless you're trying for, you know, Major League Gaming or any other pro gaming league where that type of stuff is mandatory, that will not get you a 40-hour week job. Now, I think for the majority of my watchers, uh, or viewers, I should say, um, most of you guys are probably still in high school or in college or whatever the case may be. But I'm saying at, like, my age, you know, even though I'm still in school, I'm in graduate school, but I'm getting close to, you know, getting a job, none of this matters. You know, there was a time before Call of Duty, before online multiplayer games, there was a time when we just played games for fun, heaven forbid. But I think it's just that a lot of people just... There's always this great gameplay, and it's like, oh man, if this person can do it, so can I. And then you try and try and try, just ultimately to not do well. You rage out just to pick up the game tomorrow. You know, I, I also equate this to having a bad relationship. In that you know the relationship is bad. You know that your, your partner treats you like crap. And all of that. And you know this every day you're fighting and you're fighting and you're fighting. But then there's that one time, not even a day, but that one instance where that other person says something nice to you. And you hold on to that. Like, you know, it's like, oh man, maybe tomorrow will be like that or the next day. But then, of course, it's more fighting for, you know, another few months. And then it's, and then at the end, it's three years down the road. You're in this really bad relationship. And ultimately, you break up with that person thinking back, man, why did I do that? Now, the only reason I equate that whole relationship uh, simile is that's how I feel when I play this game now. At the time of when I play, when I rage out, of course, I get angry, I get mad, and I say things to friends I shouldn't, I yell at them, I, I essentially just vent all my anger out at them, you know, more often than not. But then, a few days later, we're either laughing about it or someone's apologizing or some bullshit, you know, it's... For, I think, honestly, if this is how you're going to play or if that's how your focus is, maybe you should just stop for a while or just kind of, you know, take a extended vacation. Take a sabbatical. Now, this, I don't know if this is me giving suggestions to anyone or if this is advice maybe to myself. I don't know. Maybe I should take a break from this game. But I think I'm making a more active effort to essentially, as I said in the beginning, just let it go. Just let go, you know, worrying about what happens or what, or worrying about, you know, getting that good gameplay. Just, you know, play the game, see what it is. If you think it's, you know, to your standards, you know, go ahead and just say, hey, I had a good game. And then when you have a bad one, just be like, well, I had a bad game. Just let it go and, you know, come back to the next one. I think that's, uh, I think that's what a lot of, you know, again, I'll even equate this to sports. For a lot of like professional athletes, if they have a bad game, they don't, you know, they always say that, oh, I can't sit around and think about having that bad game. I need to focus on the next one. Just take what I did wrong and learn from it. I think for a lot of people, they don't learn from what happened. But anyway, this game is coming to a close here. So, in short, to summarize what I've talked about here, you know, why do we play these games if they're going to cause nothing but rage and anger? And, I mean, if you're going to continue playing these games, just relax. Just you know, try to have fun with it. Now again, <laughs> I'm you're gonna probably see a lot of videos in the future where I'm not going to follow that advice at all. But anyway, uh, the game is over. As you can see, my team lost, but I did well. And I actually felt pretty good after this game. So maybe that's something I should think about here. Anyways, I'm out of things to talk about now. Please, leave your comments. Uh, I want to hear your opinions. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all later.